Good morning once again. What an amazing privilege to open the Word of God and to share with you what the Holy Spirit has in store for us today. I'd love you to open your Bible in Matthew chapter 8 and we are going to read together from verse 23. It is all about the story of Jesus with his disciples in the midst of a storm. Let's just read together. Then he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of a man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. I'm going to step by step just take you through this piece of scripture and open your heart as we identify with the disciples in this story having a savior jesus whom the winds and the waves even obey you're in your in your storm today you find yourself where the winds and the waves is going to an extreme extent as a child of God, you're not alone. Jesus is on this boat with you. This furious storm, as intimidating as it was, in the midst of it, Jesus seemed to be asleep. To the disciples who was fighting the storm, trying to keep the boat afloat, to them it seemed like Jesus was asleep. Many a day, in so many of the challenges we face, to us it might seem like, where is Jesus? Why is it as if he doesn't care? Why is it that he's not acting? Why doesn't he do something? It was the cry of the disciples as they woke him. They said, Lord, save us. Don't you know? We're going to drown. And to you it might be at that point of desperation where you say, it might just be too late. It feels like I'm drowning. It feels like the storm is overpowering us. In my house, as a pastor, I'm confronted with the challenges of so many households. People who's fighting to just keep their marriage afloat. People who's struggling with sexual identity. People who'd phone me or contact me or get to my house where they're in personal desperation, challenging and asking themselves, who am I? What am I doing here on earth? What worth do I have and what can I offer the world? There are so many things people are battling, you know, finances, the worries of this life. And it might just be so overpowering where you as a child of God is crying out to Jesus. Why don't you save me? Why don't you help me? It is as if he is asleep. And as they woke him, Jesus in order, step by step, did something. The first thing Jesus did. He addressed his disciples. He asked them, after all this time, how can you still be of such little faith? He asked them, why don't you believe? You of little faith, why are you so afraid? The things that worry you, the things that gives you nightmare, the things that, that makes you so afraid that you feel it's going to win. Jesus asks, where is your faith?
He then went on to rebuke the storm. And it obeyed. You see, God is a God of order. And as we as children of God live a life with Him, we need to live a life of faith. The Word of God says we walk by faith and not by sight. We cannot see the evidence unless we've believed it first. There's a work that God wants to do deep inside of you. And it's a work of faith. Believe that He's with you. That He is going to work out together the things for the good to your benefit. Because His Word says so. Believe that He's going to perform a miracle. Believe that things will work out together for the good. I'm repeating myself. But that is the hope of the child of God who believe in God, who call the things that are not seen as if they are a reality. Today I want to say to you, if Jesus is on the boat, do you really think it will sink? Even though you might think he's asleep, I want you to rest today knowing he has promised. That he is with you even until the very end. He has the authority. Even the wind obeys him. The storm will calm. Surrender your life to him. And know that God wants us to have faith. May God bless you today. Father God, I thank you. That fellowship with you helps us. To be reminded and understand what the life of the righteous will be. You said the righteous shall live by faith. We know that faith pleases you. Today we surrender ourselves and we bow down before you. And we say it out. We believe. We believe in you Lord Jesus. With all our hearts and minds and soul we trust you. I pray that you bless your people today and come through for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed.